Hey guys, it's Kinsey Altis. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe down below and join our little family. I'm going to go ahead and start off by apologizing to everyone for being absent for so long. Kind of just went off the grid because I went to college and really didn't feel like filming because I wanted to just stick to studying whatever. And everyone's been asking me so many questions and stuff, but here I am, so hopefully I'll start filming more. Today I'm going to show you how to complete this look right here, and if you like it, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so, I already did my eyebrows and concealed and everything, set my eyes, so, and also don't judge me because I have a really bad breakout right now, but like, it's fine, so, whatever. Um, I'm going to go ahead... <sighs> and dive right into the Morphe 35W palette. So, like I said, I'm gonna jump in here and I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. And I'm just going to use this as like a transition shade. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I fully get out at the end because I am going to do a cut crease. Next, I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to take the shade right here. I'm just going to place this pretty much in the same area but a little lower just to darken up the crease a little bit. <sighs> There's the burp of the video. I'm so proud of myself. Okay, next I'm just going to go in with this shade right here. It's a little lighter than the last shade. Oh wait, and I'm hopping into the 3.5F now. I'm going to go in with this fluffy brush right here. I'm just going to blend these colors together so it's not so harsh. Now that I've done that, I'm going to go in with my Modern Renaissance palette. And I think I'm actually going to go in with red ochre right here and add that into the crease to give it a little bit of color. And now I'm going to take a more defined um, flat brush by e.l.f. And I'm just going to go in and blend these together a little bit so that it's not as harsh. And then I'll go back in and add more and keep building it up. You definitely like this looks like shit on camera. At this point, I'm going to go in with a different brush by, I don't know who this is by. Probably some freaking cheap Walmart brush, who knows. But it looks like this. Um, I'm going to go in with Cypress Umber right here, however you pronounce that. And I'm just gonna darken up this crease a little bit and try to blend these together. I can tell this looks like shit on camera. Oh, um, also I'm adding this Vanity in red. I didn't realize that that's the color I was picking up. I'm also going in with this color right here just a little bit to make that red a little more defined. I'm going to go in with this Hard Candy Glamouflage um, Concealer, super heavy duty. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. At this point in my life, I am so much better at doing makeup on other people than myself. So weird. 
I'm gonna go off camera and I'm gonna do the other eye. I just got done doing my eyes. I went ahead and added lashes. Since I know some of you guys are gonna ask, I went in with the Ritzy by Kiss. Yeah, you can't see. Whatever, the same washes I use literally every time. First of all, I'm gonna go in with the Professional by Benefit and I'm gonna put it on my nose. Now I'm gonna go in with the Milani Prime Light and just put that everywhere else I didn't, especially like in my T-zone. Really wish my face wasn't so broke out. If anyone knows what to do, come my way, come through because my face hasn't been this bad since like seventh grade. And yeah, I literally never have acne and I went to college and shit. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go back in with the Glamouflage Concealer by Hard Candy. And I'm going to conceal as much as I can um, these huge ass volcanoes I have all over my forehead. Okay, so for foundation, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me um, dewy smooth in the shade 110 porcelain oh well I forgot to dab those in I do that every time too I'm just going to dab that in with my beauty blender here it's fine I'm fine everything is fine for concealer, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm going back in with the camouflage, glamouflage stuff, whatever. We're just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go in with the airspun loose translucent powder. So next, I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced, um, whoop, I don't know if you can see that, my Chocolate Soleil Bronzer that looks like this. And I'm just going to wipe this, the powder off my nose real quick. Powder off my nose? powder off my nose really quick and I'm gonna go in with my hula bronzer and I'm just going to contour my nose a little bit I'm having issues with foundation sticking on my nose lately I'm gonna go ahead and just dust all this powder away that I laid down I think I'll do this one just cuz it smells so good I'm gonna go in with the California by Benefit. With this brush, I don't know what it's for, but I use it for blush, so. Now to finish my eyes. Now to finish my eyes, I'm gonna go back in with these browns in here and just add them to my lower lash line. While I'm at it, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's a very shimmery shade that you can't see because Shout out to me not knowing how to work this camera. For highlight, we're gonna go in with the Anastasia Sun Dip Glow Kit, Weouchie, and this e.l.f. highlighting brush right here. And I'm gonna go in with a mix of these two shades right here. We're gonna go in with the tardiest lip paint in birthday suit. Ha! Must have got this for my birthday. Give me your fucking money! Okay guys, so this is the completed look. I hope you liked it and if you do then go ahead and like and subscribe down below and leave any comments if there's anything else that you want me to do. Um, sorry I've been off the grid for so long. I am a terrible person. 
hopefully I'll be filming more, so just stay tuned. Go ahead and like and subscribe below, and make sure you comment for more ideas for me to do, and thanks for watching!